we're going to study mathematical operations on positive and negative fractions. We're going to review the rules for fractions with the same signs and also with different signs. When it comes to addition and subtraction, if the signs are the same, you add the numbers together and then you add the sign to the left of the result. Now, when it comes to multiplication and division, if the signs are the same, you go ahead and multiply or divide the numbers and then you add the positive sign to the result. Now, when the signs are different for addition and subtraction, you subtract the smaller from the larger and then the result of that gets the sign of the larger fraction or the larger number. And then for multiplication and division, you go ahead and multiply because the signs are different they would all the result will always be negative let's try some examples so one thing here we want to pay attention to is so you have a negative parenthesis positive so right here this becomes negative so we have negative 2 over 7 minus 1 1 over 3 so our LCM is going to be, because we have two prime numbers, the LCM is going to be 21. So let's ignore the negative sign on these numbers. We have 2 over 7 plus 1, 1 over 3. Because when the signs are the same, we add the numbers together. So this is going to give us 2 over 7. We multiply 7 by 3 to get to 21. So we multiply 2 by 3 to get to 21 plus 1, 1 over 3, 3 multiplied by 7, and then we have 1 multiplied by 7. So we now have 6 over 21 plus 1, 7 over 21. So this is going to give us 1, 6 plus 7, we have 13 over 21 and because we have negative numbers on both sides well, not on both sides but we have a negative number minus a number a number so you can treat it as these two numbers have the same signs and the sign here is negative so our answer is going to be minus or negative 1 13 over 21. That's our result for that. Now, when you have negative multiplied by negative, you have positive. So this becomes positive. So we now have 4 over 5 plus 4 over 5 plus 1 and a half. Now, what we're going to do here is ignore the signs. So the signs are the same. So we ignore them and just add. So the these are two prime numbers. The denominators are prime numbers. So our LCM is 5 times 2, which is going to be 10. So LCM is 10. So we have 4 over 5. We multiply 5 by 2 to make 10. So we multiply 4 by 2 as well. Plus 1, 1 over 2. We multiply 2 by 5 to get 10 and 1 by 5 as well. That gives us 5. So this is going to give us 8 over 10 plus 1, 5 over 10. So this is going to give us 1, which is our whole number. 8 plus 5 is 13 over 10. 13 over 10, let's make this a mixed number. So we have 1, 1 times 10, we have 10, we subtract, we have 3. So this is going to be 1 plus 1, 3 over 10, which is going to give us 2, 3 over 10. And now, because the signs are the same, we just give it a positive sign. Same thing goes here. We have negative 1 over 5 plus three and a half. So we, we will ignore the signs right now and go ahead and subtract. So three and a half minus one over five. 
So our LCM is 10, so that's going to give us 3, 1 over 2. We multiply 2 by 5, and then multiply 1 by 5, minus 1 over 5. We multiply 5 by 2, 1 by 2. So we have 3, 5 over 10, minus 2 over 10. This is going to give us 3, 5 minus 2 is 3 over 10. Now, we have the sign on the larger number is positive because 3 and a half is going to be bigger than 1 fifth. So, our result is positive 3, 3 over 10. And then, now we have plus, minus, this is going to be minus, so we have minus 5 over 6 minus 1 over 3. So you may be wondering which is larger. Let's go ahead and to know which of them is larger. Actually, we don't need to worry about that because they have the same signs. We have the same signs, so we're just going to add them together. So 5 over 6 plus 1 over 3. So the LCM here, 3, 6 is a multiple of 3, so the LCM is going to be 6. So we have 5 over 6, we multiply 6 by 1, multiply 5 by 1, plus 1 over 3, we multiply 3 by 2 to get 6, and so we multiply 1 by 2 as well. So now we have 5 over 6 plus 2 over 6, that's going to give us 5 plus 2 is 7. So now here, this is going to give us 7 over 6. The signs are the same and they are negative. So we have negative 7 over 6.